He didn't say anything, you know, that might have indicated. I'm going to the police station. Well, they won't tell you hey, anything. I've just come for Simon's library book. I didn't remind him to put it in his bag, but... What's going on? Peter's been arrested. He's confessed to killing Frank Foster. Please, no. Did you know he'd done it? Why does everybody... No! I'll, I'll let you know if they tell me anything. Yeah, Carla's going to the police station. They won't let you see him, if that's what you think. And have you got any better ideas? What am I going to tell Simon? Uh, nothing yet. Just wait till we know more. So, have you heard anything, then? Well, all the police would tell Carla was that he'd handed himself in and confessed. <laughs> Uh, Deirdre's giving Simon his tea. Right, so what do we say to Simon, then? How do we explain to him that his dad's a murderer? Oh, well, we can't be sure of that. I mean, Peter might be claiming self-defence, anything. Yeah, well, even so, Ken, he's still looking at 10, 20 years inside. And a month, even a week, is a long time to a kid at that age. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, but what does Peter care, eh? He's so besotted with that woman. Simon may as well not exist. Oh, Leanne, you know that isn't true. Oh, do I, Ken? Really, do I? You know, I might have to accept that he chose her over me, but Simon worships his dad. Yet he'd still go to prison for her. Go oh, right. Cheese and onion. Am I that predictable? When you've been doing this as long as I have, everybody seems predictable. In that case, I'll treat myself to some pork scratchings. Oh, serves me right. I think I've got some in the back. You are so out of order. Banging on my door, making false accusations like that. Yeah, if I don't sort this food smuggling business out right now, it won't be long before the entire school's ordering their uniforms with elasticated waistbands. You'd know all about that. Yeah, my parents grew up with rationing. Their way of showing love was to shove food down me. They didn't know what they were doing. There's no such excuse today. You mean to tell me that you're a porker because of what you ate 40 years ago? <laughs> my Brian is not a porker. <laughs> He's just big bones. He's a hypocrite. Standing there, boozing. Beer, Brian. It's just the one. Winding down after a stressful day. Pop scratchings. 